Hi, this is Manan Shalvi. In this episode, I'll show you how to create this Luma fade transition in Luma Fusion using Luma Keys. Here are some additional examples. Luma Keys provide a way to composite a foreground video over a background video based on the brightness of the foreground video. The Luma Key levels control how much you see from the foreground and background videos. As I move the range levels, you can already see how this can become a transition. This type of transition is called Luma Fade Transition. Although Luma keys in Luma Fusion support keyframing, the Luma range levels don't progress between the keyframes, so the transition cannot be easily created. In this tutorial, I'll show you an alternative method that still uses Luma keys to create the Luma fade transition. This is the effect that we'll be creating in this tutorial. The method discussed in this video gives you the flexibility to decide whether you want to fade out the first video, revealing the second one, or fade the second video, hiding the first one in the process. You can also decide if you want the video to fade from bright to dark, or from dark to bright. In this specific example, the first video will start fading out from brighter areas in the video first, to progressively darker areas revealing the second video. We start with a Luma Fusion project containing the two videos that will be used for the Luma Fade transition. The transition will be three seconds long, so you have enough time to see the progress. Scroll to three seconds before the end of the first video and make a cut. Clone the three seconds clip that was created as a result of the cut, the cloned copy will be automatically placed just above the original. Edit the cloned video. Tap on the frame and fit tab if not already selected. Expand the blending section and change the blend mode to silhouette alpha. Now tap on the colors and effects tab. Tap on the palette section and add the original preset. Next, tap on the keys section and add the dark Luma key preset. Make sure that the two presets are ordered so original come first and dark Luma key second. Expand the dark Luma key section, set the Luma range as shown. Set the roll off to about 50. Set the erosion distance to zero. Do the same for the erosion blur radius. Now expand the original preset. Scroll to the end of the clip. Adjusting only brightness first and then levels if necessary, make the screen solid black. For brightness, use the lowest level possible to get a solid black. Add a keyframe. Go to the beginning of the clip. Adjusting only brightness and levels make the video fully visible. Hide and show the clip to compare to its original below to make sure that you're not missing any area. A keyframe will be automatically created. This is how it looks so far. Notice that the clip starts fully showing the first video, progressively fading to black, ending in a solid black. Exit back to the timeline. Clone the video that you just edited and place it above the beginning of the second clip. 
edit the clone video. Tap on the Frame and Fit tab if not already selected. Expand the Blending section and change the Blend Mode from Silhouette Alpha to Stencil Alpha. This is how it looks so far. Notice that the video clip starts from a solid black and progressively the second video is revealed based on the brightness of the first video. Exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks so far. Export the project. Add the video you just exported to the third track. Using the second track as a reference, cut the video on the third track as shown. Bring the videos that you just cut to the main track. Delete the rest of the videos. Place the 3 second middle video above the first one so it aligns with its end. This is how it looks now. Edit the 3 seconds long clip. Tap on the Frame and Fit tab if not already selected. Scroll to about the middle of the clip. Expand the Blending section and change the Blend Mode to Linear Dodge. Scroll to the beginning of the clip. Notice that the first clip is fully shown. Scroll to the end of the clip. Notice that the second clip is now fully shown. Exit back to the timeline and we are done. This is how the end result looks like. Now it's up to you to unleash your creativity and use this method in different ways. For example, you could use it to transition a video from black and white to color. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.